Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. And today, we are taking a look at, from the Transformers Titans Return line, this is Deluxe Class Hot Rod, with his uh, Titan Master Fire Drive. Now, first of all, it's great to have the Hot Rod name back, not Autobot Hot Rod, not Hot Rodimus, not Rodimus. And Fire Drive is basically a little bit of a takeoff on his Target Master Firebolt. I think it was its name, so obviously they don't have that. Starting us off, we're in vehicle mode. As always, the weapons can combine for a little Titan Master seat that pegs in uh, fairly close to where the um, Titan Master would have pegged in on the original Hot Rod, and uh, the weapons, you know, combine. It is a little tricky, I have to mention, because it is like this alternating slot tab thing, but we'll just put those off to the side. Um, fire drive is fire drive. I mean, there's not a lot going on there, and you turn turn it around, and there you have Hot Rod's head. Uh, I don't know if this figure's been released, uh, shown yet in uh, Japan, or is that it's coming, but I would assume it is. Uh, fire drive can also, if you get your nail in here, little canopy right there. Where it'll sit. I'm not a big fan of the weapons. As you'll see in roll-up mode, I think they make the arms a little too long. And what's nice for these Wave 3 figures is you have the return of the pegs that the Titan Masters can stick on. So, let's uh, pause and we'll get into the transformation. Okay, transformation is very, very simple. You just want to come around the back here, flip up the backpack. Now, there is a double hinge, so you want to make sure you flip it up on that main hinge that's the closest to the canopy. That will allow you to just rotate it around. That's basically freed up the uh, legs. Next, what you want to do is come in and just pull out what will be the arms from the side here. Uh, they do peg secure in. Um, back here, the little tubes from the exhaust, um, and then just like that. Next, what you can do is come on down, round to the back again, flip down the legs, um, fold them up there at the knees, flip out what will be the feet, and then um, just go ahead and uh, rotate the uh, side panels back around. They will fill in that gap. Rotate the waist around, and if they haven't come apart already, uh, detach the legs. I will say the hips uh, are loose, but not as loose as uh, they've been on some other figures. I would hope someday to get a figure that I don't have to say has loose hips. We adjust the camera as we come on top here. What you want to do is flip in what was the front end of the car, then flip this whole section down to form the chest. That will peg in rather nicely. Come around the back here. Flip up the backpack. That will sort of uh, friction tab in into a couple slots where the uh, canopy is. Finally, just bend the elbows and then uh, flip out the hands. And we're basically all set to bring in a uh, fire drive and drop the head in. And like with most Titan Masters, it is a little bit of a snug fit, but all things considered, there we have Hot Rod in its robot mode. A few things. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that the arms are very long. Uh, we'll come in, I'll put the weapons in, and as you can see, they really just make the uh, arms a little longer. I don't think I'm going to use these weapons. I, I mean, the Hot Rod, I remember, just use those side exhausts as guns, but yep, just peg them in, and you also really can't see the fins. Other than that, it's an okay hot rod. I do want to mention on mine, the head fits in very nice and tightly, as you saw. A lot of people, the head is a floppy mess, but uh, I guess that's a case-by-case -case basis, and not something widespread like it was with uh, a skull cruncher. You might notice that I'm somewhere uh, in the middle on this figure, and that's because I am. I think the big question is, can this replace the Classics version of Hot Rod that was released as Rodimus and has seen several re-releases over the years? And the answer to that is, not really. I'm not saying this is a worse figure. I'm saying that 
this figure does a lot of things differently than that first figure, while that it's there one's not better than the other, they're on the same plateau. If you're on the fence about buying Hot Rod, and you already have one of the versions of that Classics Hot Rod, I don't think uh, you need to buy this. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the overlong arms. The hips were a little loose. And I hate to say it, but on that Classics Hot Rod, you had a little more gimmicks built in with the saw blade communicator, and it wasn't a headmaster. Something that that character never was in the first place. Um, also, let's not forget, we're living in a post-version 2 of Masterpiece Hot Rod World. N you know, that's like, but that figure's on a different tier. So, if you're looking for a Hot Rod to play with, and you have the Classics one, you're good. If not, I can say you can pick up this one, but then again, that mold was available in a 2-pack with, um, I think the, well, sorry, a 3-pack with the Junkions. So, it is, it's even available this year. Me, this is kind of cool, and I think since we're getting other movie figures this year, it kind of fits in. Um, now, I got this figure off of Amazon, shipped and sold using Prime Shipping from TF Source. So I had to pay a little bit extra, but that extra is basically the normal markup that TF Source would sell the figure as. Also to cover, I, I assume, the Prime Shipping. Um, but it's kind of interesting, because as you know... Last week, um, Dick Gaudier, the original uh, cartoon voice actor for Hot Rod and Rodimus Prime, passed away. Now, he was always, uh, a, he actually had an extensive live action career before voice acting. Uh, most people would know him from Get Smart. Um, my sister and I recently discovered a vintage game show channel called Buzzer. And we've been seeing him on a show called Tattletales and The Match Game. But what was interesting is, while he was Rodimus Prime, he was also Serpentor. So you had that bit of the yin-yang going on in terms of the good and bad. And to be honest, for most people, that's the voice they think of when they think of Rodimus Prime and not uh, Judd Nelson from the movies. So he, was, he lived a full life. He was in his 80s. But I think uh, getting this figure a little bit later than everyone else served a purpose to allow me to pay tribute to him and thank him for the joys he's brought to my life and everybody else's life. So, this is your old pal Chuck for Hot Rod. We will see you next time.